Sketch a graph of the equations. x squared equals 12y is the first one. And we'll start by reminding ourselves that the standard form of a parabola is x squared equals 4ay. Another standard form would be y squared equals 4ax. Uh, when you start with the x squared, it's for the parabola opening either up or down. It's going to do either one or the other. Uh, if you start with y squared equals 4ax, you kind of deal with the same idea, uh, but it's opening either left or right. So both of these are going to open uh, up or down. The first one opens up and the second one opens down. We'll show that in a little bit. You solve for, for a, you see whatever is multiplied by y and uh, say 4a equals that 12 and so real quickly we'll find that that a equals 3 because 4a equals 12 so a equals 3 uh, and then what are we going to do with that well we have the directrix and it's a line it's not part of the graph it's just kind of a guiding line but it certainly is not part of the graph the only thing that's part of, that's involved in this graph is a parabola uh, the directrix is y equals negative a so for our example the directrix is y equals negative three we also have the focus the focus is going to be a point inside the parabola and it's at the point 0 a because this opens up or down if it opened left or right we are doing, dealing with y squared equals 4 a x you know, the focus would be at the, the x coordinate first and then 0 so along the x axis but this focus is along the y axis because we're dealing with parabolas that open up or down all right so our focus for our example is going to be at 0 3. So we don't have a, a coordinates on this or the grid lines besides just the x and y axes and that's because we're going to draw a rough sketch. So let's say this is the line y equals negative 3. That's our directrix. We're going to use that in a bit. We also have uh, along the y axis the same distance from 0. The point 0, 3. All right. And then we graph the parabola by saying two imaginary lines. A line directly from this focus and a line perpendicular from this directrix up to the parabola, any point on the parabola. Those two points should be equal. So, of course, right here at the origin, you've got this going... from here and here and this is a point the origin is a point on the parabola because we've got the same distance uh, perpendicular to the directrix and and then a distance to the focus and then you continue to draw this parabola so that you can always draw two lines that are equal to each other equal in length. Now this isn't going to be perfect of course because I'm drawing it by hand but the point is I've got a distance from the focus let's try that in yellow I've got a point a distance from the focus and a perpendicular distance to the directrix and those should be the same. I know it's not perfect there but look when we do the next example B we will see um, how this value of a changes the shape and what's what we're going to find is that when a is large both positive or negative when a is large this parabola is going to open up really wide or flat but let's take a look at the next example when a let's see 4 a equals negative 4. That's what's being multiplied by y. So a equals negative 1. So our directrix is y equals the opposite of negative 1. Remember y equals negative a. So y equals 1 is our directrix. So I'll put that in there. It's going to be a lot closer 
to the x-axis than our previous example, y equals 1. And our focus is at 0, a, or 0, negative 1. So I'll put that right there. Now, for us to have two lines that are always the same distance, drawn perpendicular from the directrix and just straight to the uh, focus, this parabola is going to have to be a lot more narrow. And again, this won't be perfect, but you can see the shape. Certainly, what's in green in our second example is narrower than what's in red in our first example. So what I'm trying to do is make it so that at any point on the parabola, we've got two lines, one perpendicular to the directrix, and one just right from that point to the focus. And those distances are the same. I'm trying to draw this very well perpendicular. Okay, so these, these two lines in yellow should be about the same. All right, so there is an example, a uh, shape of a couple of uh, parabolas using the standard equations.